everyone. I'm Lou Del Monte, and welcome to Del Monte on Science. Today we're going to pick up where we left off in our last video post, and that is what caused the early inflation of the universe. And for any of those that would like to avail themselves and read more about this, please uh, do avail yourself of my new book, Unraveling the Universe's Mysteries. It's available at Amazon.com in both Kindle and paperback. So we left off in the last video talking about how a virtual particle pair in the bulk, the super universe that contains our universe and potentially others, that's why some call this the multiverse, was responsible when they, when they collided, that was responsible for the Big Bang. And the equation that it follows, this has been studied in the particle colliders at CERN and a number of other places, when matter and antimatter connect, you actually don't get just annihilation. That's, uh, I know that's commonly referred to but in the movies, but in reality, when antimatter and, and matter uh, collide, you do get matter and antimatter as byproducts, and you get photons. That's a lot of energy, electromagnetic energy. And so what could have caused then this early inflation is this reaction. And I view it as a chemical reaction. A lot of uh, physicists uh, will talk about asymmetry of physical laws and why we're ending up with a matter and, and uh, there's very little antimatter in the universe. Actually, I'm looking at it as a chemical reaction. Now, I'm a physicist and I'm also a chemist. And bottom line is, is that this can be viewed as a reaction and chemistry is phenomenological, which means that oftentimes the, they look at the result and that guides the theory. And basically this is what we're seeing in, as we look at particle colitis. So what's happening? Well basically you're getting a lot of energy given off. In this reaction, this is, this is energy and you're getting a lot of it. I mean, to, to, just think about that. Look at, look at how much we have in the way of photons, the sun, stars, billions. A lot of energy was given off when, when the virtual particle pair collided. My new theory is that this, when they collided, this caused a violent reaction. And what we often refer to, what astrophysicists will refer to as inflation. And that means that the universe, our universe, was expanding exponentially. Now just to give you a depiction of that, this would be a linear expansion. See how my hands are going at a constant rate? That's a linear expansion. Now if we want to talk about an exponential expansion, we're doing this. In other words, it, it went very fast. At the, at the initial point, and then at some point it, it went to a normal rate. Now we'll discuss the normal rate in a future uh, video post. The normal rate isn't quite normal, but it's not the exponential rate that we saw at the early universe when the, when the two particles initially collided. So my new theory on this is that it was the matter and antimatter pair colliding that explains the inflation of the early universe. And that's all part of the Big Bang duality theory, which I have in my new book, Unraveling the Universe's Mysteries. In the next post, we're, gonna, we're going to explain or talk about a new theory, why we don't see any antimatter in the universe. And we'll be talking about that in detail in our very next video post. Thank you very much.